You're still watching news on the Ahi on Plus TV Africa. Now, despite the mounting opposition against the passage of the Control of Infectious Disease Bill 2020, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, has insisted on sending the document to public hearing anytime soon. This is coming when the House also denied receiving a monetary inducement to the tune of $10 million from foreign interests for the bill, otherwise called National Center for Disease Control, and CDC bill upon its introduction last Last week expeditiously scaled through first and second readings, waiting for a public hearing. But many had criticized the bill as giving too much power to the Director General of the NCDC, the Supervising Minister of the Center, and the law enforcement agents. Still on national matters, the National Health Emergency Bill 2020 has been introduced and scaled first reading on Tuesday. The bill, sponsored by Senator Chuka, Chuwuka Utazi was read for the first time at the start of plenary, but deliberation will take place on another legislative day. The Senate President Ahmad Lawal has in the meantime directed that copies of the bill be made available to every lawmaker before the next stage of the legislation. This was after a former Deputy Senate President E.K. Akwaramadu protested that members of the House were yet to get copies of the bill. The Senate legislation comes a week after the House of Representatives introduced and deliberated the controversial control of infectious disease bill, which triggered outrage among Nigerians, not only because of the provisions of the bill, but the speedy consideration and passage by members of the House. Now, Honorable Anieka Umana, member House of uh, House representing Abake Tim uh, Ika Federal Constituency joins us now. Good morning, Honorable. Yes, good morning. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you, and thanks for having me. Right, great. It's good to have you here. Now, please bring us up to speed on the House position in light of the controversy generated by the Infectious Disease Bill. Oh, thank you very much. Um, as you are aware, uh, the House uh, sat in plenary yesterday and uh, the issue of um, the bill, uh, the Infectious Disease Control Bill 2020, uh, sponsored by His Excellency the Speaker of the House and uh, others, uh, was committed to the, uh, for, for public hearing. For public hearing. The Speaker, in his opening remarks, made it very clear that uh, uh, the bill will be put out there to harness all of the contributions of members of the public as well as members uh, to ensure that uh, the, all of the niceties and the dotting of the T's and crossing of the I's and all of the elements that are of interest to the public are looked into to ensure that a properly backed bill comes out at the end of the day. All right, uh, but what's your response to questions as to why the proposed legislation is coming as Nigeria battles for the coronavirus pandemic? Well, quite frankly, uh, people uh, raise such questions, but uh, they, it, it is important to understand that the bill uh, which seeks to repeal the Quarantine Act uh, of, uh, uh, of 1926 is also a response, a response to the uh, to the pandemic that is affecting the country now. It's, it is sought to strengthen uh, the disease control administration. But clearly, uh, there are such several sections and uh, uh, aspects of the bill that needs fine tuning in line with all of the inputs and questions raised and suggestions made. So uh, there's no ill intention at all. The key thing is that uh, legislations must come on and the timeliness of legislation also depends on, on the issues at stake. Perhaps if this pandemic did not come at this time, maybe that contemplation would not have come. But now it has come. So what needs to be done has to be done in ensuring that all of the areas of interest, all of the areas of questions are looked at and of course, the totality of stakeholders input uh, are nest into the baking of the bill so that the bill comes out clean and of course represent, uh, representative of the views of the Nigerian people. Don't forget, the House of Representatives is the House of the Nigerian people and will always work in the interest of the Nigerian people. That is why we are there as members, representing 360 federal constituencies and we are harnessing the views of our different constituents and stakeholders and making such suggestions to the House to ensure that whatever is of need to the people comes out at the end of the day. Honorable, Honorable Umana, there are also concerns uh, as to why the House 
is exploring the prospect of forcing parents to vaccinate their children at birth when we are yet to get a vaccine. Now, the issue of uh, vaccination, if you look at the, the laws of 1926, it's not a new thing completely. Like when a child is born, once uh, some of them, they give them, they give them ECGs, they give them, uh, what's it called, uh, anti-meningitis and all of that. But critically, it's for planning purposes. And the house did not say that it's a vaccine to be given. Uh, when a vaccine eventually is approved, and of course, there's no way you can, there's no name of a vaccine stated. So there's no way the house can sit down and say this, a particular vaccine should be given to people. No, vaccine is vaccine. Whether you are traveling uh, to some countries and they require vaccination, vaccine is vaccine. So those are all of the sections and areas that will need to be fine-tuned uh, to, to ensure that the bill is picked properly. The vaccine talked about is not about COVID-19. Vaccine is vaccine. Even the law of 1926 talks about vaccine. So it is looking at the fine letters of it and fine tuning it and writing the law to be very futuristic, to take care of people and allay the fears of any section of the society. So we have been able to look at the bill itself. We've looked at the various sections. We've looked at the uh, uh, the provisions and of course, all various contributions have been made and stakeholder contributions will be harnessed in the various public hearings to ensure that a properly birth bill, all the chapters, 1 to 9, 1 to 10, if you like, are looked into to give Nigerians a proper bill. I don't think we should get worried at this time because the House has done what it ought to do by committing this bill for further scrutiny of the public. All right, we appreciate the clarity that you brought there. Meanwhile, the Senate yesterday passed uh, at first instance what is being described as a version of the quarantine law, which is titled National Health Emergency Bill. Now, are there, are there similarities? If yes, why different headings? Well, I have not seen the bill at the Senate. Uh, the, the upper chamber, I, I had on the news that there is a health bill uh, that is in, in process. But of course, the Senate has not passed any bill to my knowledge because it would have been public. Maybe there is a matter in consideration. I know it comes to the House or is made available. I cannot speak on that because I have not read it and I have not seen it. All right, Honorable Ania Kanumana, thank you so very much for your time and for all you do. Keep safe. Thank you very much for having me. God bless you all.